what do you think of when the word cathedral comes to mind? Gargoyles and hunchbacks? Wrong answer. It should have been skeleton man who throws poison at you. The cathedral in Diablo 2 is filled with fallen, wraiths, and weird looking reptile dog demons that shoot lightning. The area level is 72, which is on the lower side, but the super unique bone ash is level 75, so that makes it a little better. The real advantage of the cathedral is its static map, which can be cleared in 30 seconds or less if you're going fast. The disadvantage, however, is that the density in this area is quite frankly pathetic. So um, let's see how it held up. First drop comes from Bone Ash on run 8, a pair of frost burns. Like what, two builds use these? I think Warcry barbs because they just soak up mana and maybe like energy shield builds. Then the highest, yes the highest rune comes on 13. To me, Io, Lum, and Dahl are like the three horsemen of disappointing rune drops. I just do not enjoy seeing them. However, I did enjoy finding this because this was a pretty sweet find. I kind of wish it was fire resistance so I could put it in my mercenary's Andy helm, but this one's still amazing. Two items dropped on run 33, the first being a unique ring. Can you guess what it is? Yep, it's a raven frost as always. And the second drop is not anything life changing, but I don't think I've shown it before. It's basically a bad item to a bad set. I then went on quite the dry spell until run 57 when this dropped, and throw barbarians are actually getting buffed in the next patch, so if this was ethereal and upped in the cube, it would actually be pretty solid. But it's not, so it's bad. Funny story about this next item. At the start of D2R's release, when I killed Duriel for the first time, you know, the lord of painful drops, in a wild turn of events, a Tarnhelm dropped from it. And I was so hyped, but then legit 60 seconds later, the game crashed, and I was rolled back to the start of Act 2. Yeah, I was pretty pissed. Let's do a little item review of this next drop here. Okay, the Dragon Chang, yep. Okay, 10 to minimum damage, 35 to attack rating. Okay, okay. Why does this exist? I'm not saying all uniques have to be good, but come on, this isn't even unique. I found a godly leveling item on run 73, Steel Clash. If you are running a Paladin and you find this right at 17, you're usually pretty happy. Bone Ash decides to finally drop me another decent item on run 91. A towel belt, but it rolled 10% magic find. Gross. The last notable drop was on run 96, and it was actually a pretty baller pair of Javazon gloves. Mana leech, attack speed, and some resistance. Not too shabby. With runs taking less than 30 seconds, and, and a couple of decent drops considering it's such a low level area, I think this was better than the barracks by far. Not enough to get it like a B tier, but probably like a D plus to a C minus in that range. You also have to consider that you're gonna be killing ghosts in this area, which have a higher drop table for runes, but because the density is so low anyways, it doesn't really matter, but I mean, it's something. So yeah, basically just don't come here unless you're like really bored and you want something new. And that about wraps up the video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.